good morning students i hope you people are fine and healthy today i will start with uh, ncert questions so let us discuss ncert questions today so question number two, one is why should a magnesium ribbon be cleaned before burning in air see magnesium ribbon if you consider or if you check properly you will see that there is a, a stable layer of magnesium oxide because magnesium can react with oxygen present in the atmosphere and it forms a stable layer of magnesium oxide for that reason since that is a stable layer if you don't remove it it will be difficult in burning the magnesium ribbon for that reason to burn properly we should clean it properly with sandpaper or some other substance okay now question number two write the balanced chemical equation for the following reaction see what equation is given you need to write now in symbolic form and you, you need to balance it okay so if you consider number one hydrogen and chlorine gives us hydrogen chloride am i clear to you so h2 is the formula of hydrogen gas chlorine is the formula of chlorine gas it gives us hydrochloric acid okay so after writing you have to balance it so we have put two in front of hydrochloric acid second one barium chloride reacts with aluminium sulfate gives us barium sulfate and aluminium chloride first of all you will write the formulas then you will balance it third one also similarly you will write the formulas and you will balance it next question number three you have to uh, write a balanced chemical equation with symbols for the following reaction with symbol you need to write okay so what is given solutions of beryllium chloride and sodium sulfate in water see solutions of beryllium sorry barium chloride and sodium sulfate you need to prepare with what you will prepare we will prepare with water so if any solution you prepare with water that is called aqueous solution so in bracket you have to write a q okay similarly sodium sulfate also prepared in water so a q barium sulfate which is a precipitate and which is solid for that reason small s and sodium chloride which remains in the upper part of the reaction mixture and which is a solution so it is aqueous am i clear similarly second one also since it is made in water so you have to make aqueous you have to write aqueous here okay and water itself is aqueous so you have to write it as liquid because water itself is called aqueous if you made something in water that is called aqueous so water itself in which state is it is present whether in solid liquid or gas it is in liquid state so you will not write aqueous but you will write liquid so for water it will be either liquid or gas or solid but here since it is in liquid form so you will write liquid l small l similarly question number four a solution of substance x is used for white washing we know that calcium hydroxide is used for white washing but here question is solution of substance x okay see calcium oxide in water is the solution of substance x okay so this is the solution of substance x so this is x and solution of x is this am i clear so x will be calcium oxide am i clear because calcium oxide if you dissolve in water it gives us calcium hydroxide which we use in whitewashing so x is calcium oxide now next question number five why is the amount of gas collected in one of the test tubes is double the amount then collected in another one in electrolysis of water experiment okay this is because two uh, this is because if two molecules of water we break it we get two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen in cathode the amount of gas is double than the anode okay next why does the color of copper sulfate solution changes when an iron nail is dipped in it this is the displacement reaction when we uh, put one iron nail in copper sulfate solution and color changes due to the formation of ferrous sulfate or iron to sulfate am i clear okay next give an example of double displacement reaction this is also a double displacement reaction you can take another example uh, that is given in your book is sodium sulfate and barium chloride gives us barium sulfate and sodium chloride am i clear okay identify the substance oxidized and substance reduced see substance oxidized means which substance is getting oxidized in the reaction 
if you see sodium you will see that here addition of oxygen is taking place and the sodium is getting converted to sodium oxide so sodium is oxidized to sodium oxide so substance oxidized is sodium here copper oxide is ge getting reduced to copper because removal of oxygen is going on from copper oxide so copper oxide is getting reduced to copper and hydrogen since here addition of oxygen is taking place because hydrogen is getting converted to water so hydrogen is the substance which is getting oxidized next which of the statement about the reaction below are incorrect see question is given which one is incorrect so read the question carefully okay it is not asking about correct option it is asking about incorrect option am i clear so if you consider this lead oxide is getting reduced to lead and carbon is getting oxidized to carbon dioxide so you just check where the wrong answers are and that is number a and b is wrong because here it is written lead is getting reduced but lead is not getting reduced and carbon dioxide is getting oxidized carbon dioxide is not getting oxidized carbon is getting oxidized so number one is wrong so this is the correct option Number two, if you consider what type of reaction it is, it is a displacement reaction because aluminium is displacing iron from ferric oxide and giving us aluminium oxide and iron. So it is a displacement reaction since aluminium is more reactive than iron, it will displace iron from ferric oxide. Next question number three, what happens when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to iron fillings? What it will give? It will give us iron chloride and hydrogen gas okay so this is the required reaction now question number four what is a balanced chemical equation why should a chemical equation be balanced so what is a balanced chemical equation a balanced chemical equation is an equation which contains equal number of atoms on both the sides okay why we need to balance it to fulfill the law of conservation of mass which states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction am i clear consider question number five translate the following statements into chemical equation that means in word it is given you have to write symbolically and then you have to balance so hydrogen gas combines with nitrogen that means nitrogen and hydrogen is getting combined that means they are reacting so nitrogen and hydrogen is reacting and it gives us ammonia after writing the formulas correctly you have to balance similarly the other reactions also consider question number six balance the following chemical equation c here reactants and products are written you need to balance only okay so you have to balance it if you can't balance it directly try to do it by stepwise balancing keep it in your mind how to start then you can easily balance please practice at home this is very important now question number seven write the balanced chemical equations for the following re reactions what equations are given calcium hydroxide so formula of calcium hydroxide is this then carbon dioxide formula is this gives what calcium carbonate and water so you will write first the formula then if you need to balance you have to balance it similarly other questions now let us discuss question number eight write the balanced chemical equation for the following and identify ta the type of reaction see here word equation is given you have to write symbolically first then you have to write type of reactions so first one is potassium bromide reacts with barium iodide and gives us potassium iodide and barium bromide so easily you can see that this is a double displacement reaction similarly others you have to find what type of reaction it is am i clear 